When working through a differential diagnosis, doctors will usually do an electrocardiogram. This test looks at the heart's electrical patterns to see if there are any unusual rhythms that might indicate a damaged heart muscle. Next would be an echocardiogram. This is an ultrasound-based examination, and ultrasounds are useful because they can show whether or not the heart has become larger and whether or not it has problems pumping blood. Then, of course, come blood tests. When suspecting myocarditis, doctors will look for elevated markers that are released into the blood when the heart muscle is damaged. Next, your doctors will run a chest X-ray. This test can show the shape and size of the heart and any fluid around the heart that could indicate heart failure. This might be followed by an MRI, or magnetic resonance imaging, which is a powerful imaging technique that can show signs of inflammation affecting the heart muscle. The definitive method to diagnose myocarditis is biopsy of the heart's tissue.